It has been many years since Steve famously defeated the Ender Dragon and released the people of Minecraftia from their perilous nights. The villages had prospered and the population blossomed, but Steve himself had vanished without a trace. One fateful day, two boys playing on the beach came across a map. The map was old and indicated great detail and a wide region. Guillaume, the older of the two friends, decided to ask his grandfather, who had once seen Steve, if he knew from whence it came. The grandfather was astonished to see the map, realizing at once that it was very similar to those made by Steve in those older days of dangerous exploration, and there seemed to be a location indicated on it. Perhaps a clue to Steve's whereabouts was to be found. Guillaume and his friend Taka pored over the map and attempted to find recognizable landmarks, but the map's age made it difficult to decipher. Much had changed in the intervening years. Finally deciding on a direction, they set out into the forest to try to follow the map's trail. After walking for hours through the wood, not fearing the undead that used to hide in the shade of the trees, they felt they had reached their destination, a dark and foreboding entrance in the side of the rock. After only a brief fear and hesitation, the two boys entered the cave, searching to unlock its secrets. They searched for what seemed like an eternity, before a sound they had never before heard came to their ears. They fled in terror, but soon got lost deep inside the caves and found themselves trapped and cornered. Despairing and fearing the worst, the two waited for the spiders to make their move until a light blazed into existence beyond the beasts. Grateful, the boys found out the man's name was Jace, and he had been hunting spiders in this cave for their string and spider eyes. When Guillaume mentioned they had found a map, Jace became interested. He had one of his own. It appeared that the two maps were part of a single hole, and with both pieces, the location of the treasure became clear. They set up camp to sleep the night away, and Jace promised to protect them until sunrise. But the two boys did not realize that Jace had already decided to go for the treasure himself. When they awoke, Jace was already gone and far ahead of them. Angered, the two boys took Chase, using their memory of the two maps to make their best guess at where he was headed. Bursting into a clearing in the trees, the boys found a large structure unlike any they had ever before seen, hidden in the center of the forest. Cautiously, they entered, and found that Jace had already arrived, his torches lighting his path. At the bottom of the stairs, a wondrous sight befell them, a chamber that appeared to have been unvisited for countless years. And moving steadily toward the structure in the middle was Jace. Jace sneered and said they should never have trusted someone they had never before met, especially with something as important as a treasure map. But as he reached to open the chest, his folly was made clear.
for that, which should never have been disturbed. Jace's greed had cost him everything, but Taka and Guillaume had survived. They would never forget their adventure following one of the lost maps of Steve.